All right, coding fans, we are here in deactivating a portal. Uh, we are in our types lesson or module. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one we're dealing with our dot notation. So we've got green portal dot is active equals true. Um, and what that is saying is it's the green portal, which we're looking at here, uh, and it is saying that it is on. Uh, this single equal is deter determines whether it is on or whether it is off. So equals and then true means it is active, false means it's not active uh, or off. So when we're looking at this, our goals are to use dot notation uh, to turn this off or to deactivate it. So we're going to hit true, turns blue. You can either hit false up here in the black pop-up box or down in the bottom. Um, I'll hit it in the black pop-up box. And now if we run our code, that turns that portal off. All right. So, and we want it off because that portal goes to nowhere. So we would have to go in and out of that portal every time in order to solve this. So it doesn't help us. Um, so taking a look at solving this puzzle, we can just use a, a regular, regular way that we're going to do it. Um, we could use the right hand rule. We could do a lot of things. I'm going to go ahead and write a function and call it move three. Uh, and that's going to be for one in three, we're just going to move forward. All right. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you notice, uh, we're going to have to move three a lot of times, move three, turn right, then move three, all those things. So move three is going to be something that's going to make this easier. Um, I'm going to set this up so that we can use another for loop. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say move three and then either turn left or turn right. Either one works. I'm right handed. We're going to go turn right. And what this is going to do is set us up so that I can use a for loop uh, to solve this. We're going to get him moving faster. Okay. So there are three branches to this. Okay. And we're going to get our character to move three. We're going to toggle the switch. And we need to turn around. So either turn left, turn left, or turn right, turn right. Uh, and then move three again. And then to get us staring at a new one, we could just run that twice. But to get this as a, a three loop, we're going to get them to turn right. And what this is going to allow us to do um, these first two right here, move three and turn right, get him set up, and then our for loop allows our character to do each of these. Is that one? Move to the end of this one. Uh, and we could play with it so that there's no extra motion here. All of this motion here is wasted, um, but it, it does not really matter. We've got a good use of a lot of code here. We deactivated the portal. We wrote a function. We used a for loop. We nested a for loop in a function, and then we nested that into our um, other for loop. So a lot of good code here uh, going on. Many different ways to do this correctly. Like I said, you could have used a while loop. Uh, you could have set a gym count or a switch counter, all sorts of ways to get this one done. All right, see you on the next one.